All right, guys, it's Charlie Tango 1994 back with another YouTube video. If you've been around CB radios for any amount of time, you will have come across the name Thunderpole before. It's a brand synonymous with the UK CB radio industry, starting out as a reseller of CB radios as far back as the pre-legalisation of FM radios in the UK. Thunderpole has been producing a range of branded CB radios accessories, as well as a range of CB radios and as part of a series of CB radio reviews that can be bought over the counter today, or more likely online, have managed to get hold of a Thunderpole T2000. Although there are a range of Thunderpole CB radios, this is one of their mid-range models, and compared to the CRT Xenon we looked at in a previous video, it's slightly more expensive, at around £90. It too is slightly larger than the Xenon, but would still be considered relatively compact compared to most 80s rigs. In terms of design, it has a modern look with its LCD screen and frequency display, but still maintains something of the more traditional styling. Looking at the mic, this too is somewhat different to the usual 4-pin mics you see on older rigs, since this has a 6-pin connection, which then allows for the use of the up and down arrows built into the mic. The T2000 also has an additional button built into the mic to allow you to enable the automatic squelch without needing to access it from the rig itself. Taking a look at the front of the radio, we see that we have three knobs or rotary controls as well as nine push button controls. We switch on by turning the power control on the top right of the radio and adjusting the volume by turning the same control. Changing channel is achieved by turning the larger control knob below the power volume control. As we saw previously, we can also change channel using the up and down keys on the mic. On the left of the radio, we have a twin pot, which allows us to manually adjust the squelch, as well as changing the RF gain on the collar. The T2000 is a good size display, which shows the channel indicator and frequency display as well as a signal indicator and mode indicator. There are also additional indicators for automatic squelch or ASQ, automatic noise limiter or ANL, and the selected norm or country indicator, which shows us which band of frequencies are accessible relevant to the country it's being used in. Taking a look at the buttons now, we have the ASQ button on the top left, which enables automatic squelch, which as we mentioned before, is also accessible from the mic. Below that is the mode button, which allows us to switch between the UK and EU blocks, giving access to all 80 euro frequencies. It's worth mentioning that in order to access AM mode, you must first change the norm from UK to EU. Below that is the scan button, which as the name suggests, allows us to scan through the channels. This too can be adjusted by the up-down arrows on the mic. At the bottom is the function key, which when held down also activates the key lock, which prevents inadvertent tampering of the radio controls. On the right hand side of the radio, we have the dual watch button, which enables us to monitor two channels at the same time. This can be adjusted by first selecting the first channel you wish to monitor, hitting the DW key, then selecting the second channel you want, then selecting DW again. Below that is the LCR button, which allows us to select one of the seven different colours from the display. Here you also have the option to turn off the display to preserve power. Next is the emergency channel button, which rotates between channel 9 and channel 19. Finally in this row of buttons is the memory key, which allows you to store 10 favorite channels. You can store each frequency by allocating it to an available memory slot. To access, you press the function key, then the mem key. Here it displays the frequency rather than the channel number. On the right shoulder of the radio, we also find the ANL button which enables the automatic noise limiter. As we mentioned before, 
you can select the norms from the country's frequencies you want to access by turning the radio off, then holding the function key and memory key together whilst turning the radio on. This then gives you access to the eight different norms available covering UK, SEPT, France, Germany, Italy, Spain and Poland. Overall, the T2000 is an excellent build quality and feels comfortably robust. It comes with everything you need, including a choice of power cables, which includes a cigarette lighter adapter and mounting kit, so it would be very easy to install and remove from your car. I felt it was a shame you have to turn the rig off and on to access the AM mode, but that's my only real gripe with it. More surprisingly though, was that other than the instructions on the reverse of the box, it comes without a printed user manual. If you want a copy of the user guide, you'll need to purchase a PDF copy of it from the Thunderpole website at nearly £4, which I was disappointed with. There is enough info on the box to get you started, but I don't see a reason why it doesn't come with the user guide. And if I'm honest, £4 for a PDF download seems expensive and adds to the overall cost of the rig. I would still say the T2000 is worth the money, but we will have to see how it compares to the other radios we've got lined up in this series of over-the-counter radio reviews we've got lined up in future videos. For now, I'll say 7 freeze and I'll see you in my next YouTube video.